It took Cork City all of 17 seconds to breach the Sligo defence and score the only goal of this Turner's cross tussle. Kelvin Flanagan put the ball into the danger zone and John Caulfield did well to retain possession under pressure. The second cross had the Sligo defence in a mess and that allowed John Caulfield to head home 1-0 to Cork City. Well, it was all downhill from there, the game failing to live up to its auspicious opening. But in the second half, Phil Harrington's blushes were spared when the ball bounced unkindly for Sligo's Mark Hutchinson. It finished Cork City 1, Sligo Rovers 0. Showgrounds have proved a happy hunting ground for Shelburne in recent years, and that proved to be the case last night. They opened their account after 17 minutes. Nicky Bruges misjudging Sheridan's corner, Pat Scully finding the back of the net. The home side went two behind eight minutes before the break. Brian Flood's deep cross found Mark Rutherford on the far post and Pat Morley was there to knock it home. Sligo's hopes of a second half comeback were finally laid to rest. Midway through the half, Stephen Gagan with this expertly struck volley. Final score at the showgrounds, Rovers nil, Shelburne three. Derry City's 18 match unbeaten run in the league came to an end last night at the Brandywell, although they did come close after 24 minutes. Lovely control by Gary Beckett, but the shot back off the upright. With half an hour gone on the clock, the visitors opened the scoring. Clint Brown's throw was flicked on by Marcus Hallows, and Lee Chu knocked it home. 1-0 to Sligo Rovers. 13 minutes into the second half, Sligo went two up. Brown's through ball, causing problems for Derry's Declan Boyle, and Forrick Moran accepted the offer, and tucked it past Tony O'Dowd. 2-0 Sligo. Derry, however, were not prepared to let the points go without a struggle, and created a number of chances. Beckett's pass put James Keddy through, but Alan O'Neill's acrobatics helped Sligo to hang on. Final score at the Brandywell, Derry City nil, Sligo Rovers 2.